Hello, hello, and welcome back. I'm Claire. This is Purple Poppy. And as you can see, we are on Coffee Break Crafting. So I have got probably the easiest little thing in the world today. I'm using my die cutter, my big shot. I've got the Sizzix. I never know if they're moths or butterflies, but this one... I've also got some butterfly stamps. Now, obviously, you don't need these two. You can use whatever die cuts and stamps you like. I've got two pieces of card, totally different colours, but identical in size. And then I've got two coloured inks. This is a baby blue that shows almost white for my black card. And then this is a black for my craft card. So let's start really, really simple. Now, because this is the box, one of the box dies, the big, big ones, I'm going to pop that in there. Hope I'm on. Yeah. Pop that in there. I'm going to pop the two pieces of card on there. I'm going to try and get it in the centre doesn't have to be exact but try and get it in the center pop that in there i'm then going to put my two plates on top i mean you know how to use a die machine if you've got one and then i'm just gonna run that through like so now because i've got two layers of card i'm going to run it back the other way like that take my two plates off and we can see that they're there whoops we've got some bits left behind give that a bash move that all out of the way and now we've got our two pieces of card so I'm just going to gently pull out my die cut pieces. There's the two card, card, it's all card, the two craft card ones. Here's the black one and the small black one. Simple, simple, simple. Okay. Now obviously want the butterfly but I don't want those pieces I'm going to call it a butterfly I think it's a moth but whatever okay so I'm going to take the black one first and I'm going to pop out all those little bits that didn't oh, where's my pokey tool gone going to pop these out. I can't find my pokey tool which is a bit annoying. <coughs> now these bits I'm not going to worry about using. So I'm just going to I really do need a knot. Oh there's my pokey tool. It's hiding behind my knife. So, this is probably going to take longer than anything else. <laughs> Don't laugh. Poke them out. And that one. And then we've got one there. Like that. And then this. Now this one has actually split there, so I need to be careful taking that one out. Okay, so there's my black one. That was simple, wasn't it? I'm sorry about the noise in the background. That's my washing machine. I've got laundry going. <coughs>
Right, sorry. Um, I put you on poles because I thought that um, noise was probably going to get too much. And while you were gone, I just pulled out all of the pieces. Okay? So, what we're going to do now is a very, very simple task. And I'm going to take... The brown one and I'm gonna or the craft card one now there is actually a right and a wrong side so you do have to make sure that you get them in the right way there we go and I'm gonna pop the craft card ones in to the black now unfortunately I've lost the craft card um, little body which is a bit annoying. I'm just then going to use a little bit of washi tape to stick these down. So, a little bit of washi tape there, and one on his wing. So we've got like a silhouette okay and then obviously I'm going to do exactly the same with this one and with this one there we go and it came in as I say you can do this with absolutely any die cuts that you've got just two different bits of paper really I mean you can do flowers whatever you want to do and I'm going to use this as a double page spread almost like a silhouette okay I think that's stuck yep there we go so we've got a double page spread now if you have got both of your little bodies then obviously you can pop that in as well so as I've got the black one, I'll put the black one in and then um, we'll have to have the black one missing, uh, sorry the craft card one missing from the black craft. There we go. It's really really simple isn't it? Now before I stick it in my book I've got some stamps here of butterflies and I haven't got for some reason a stamping block I don't know where all my stamping whoops stamping blocks have run off to so I suppose I better go and find one haven't I right let's do you know what shall we cheat shall we just use an ink <laughs> so using the pale blue which you'll see shows us almost white I'm just gonna decorate up my backgrounds and then I'm gonna get rid of that one use a different one exactly the same way as I haven't got a stamp mat an acrylic block to hand okay oops now I've pulled the lid off the ink okay 
So now I want to put the lid on that and I want to repeat that in the black. So my black ink, oh, but I'm going to use the same stamps that I just used. Okay, and um, we went up and up and up and up. Because bear in mind, I want it to be like its silhouette. So then, and we've got. One that side, one that side, one that side, and then one there. So now we have got, as I say, the silhouette copies. Super simple, super easy. And then if I just pick this up, I need to find a double double page and I think we'll go for the craft card on that side like that so I'm just going to use a glue stick for this so glue in all the way round the edge like so and then glue in my butterflies as well and then just pick it up pop it on and stick it down so that's page one <clears throat> and then i'm going to do exactly the same with the black and obviously you can do this in whatever colours you've got. There's lots of bright coloured children's card available to us these days. So whoops, you could whoops use one of those and then pop this in, trying to make sure that those middle two are almost touching each other. and stick that one down too and then we have got the simplest silhouette you will ever make do need to get a little bit more glue under that craft card there we go simplest silhouette ever with a missing piece <laughs> i feel like i want to cut that one of those out and almost pop it up here like it's disappearing so anyway as always a huge thank you for you coming along and spending time with me today i hope you found some joy and inspiration you're going to go and dig out your die cuts and your stamps and create a silhouette stay safe i'll see you very soon ta for now